Hey, this is Jordan. I'm doing another question and answer video post here. I got a couple more questions from Matt, and so I'm going to try to answer them the best of my ability here. If you notice, I'm wearing some Boston football and baseball gear. My brother coaches the baseball team and uh, helps out coaching the football team, so he sent me some gear, and I'm uh, supporting up for the video here. First question that Matt had was on minimalist uh, shoes and kind of making that jump from a, a normal trainer to a more minimal shoe. He said he's in the Nike Free Run Pluses and has about 600 miles on him and he's probably starting to wear some holes in him so definitely that's probably the lifespan of the shoe. I can get 600 miles on my shoes uh, sometimes but that's definitely on the far end so you're probably due for a new pair of shoes. As far as some of the options he's looking at, he was looking at maybe going to the Nike Free 3.0s or the New Balance Minimus. Those are pretty far down the spectrum of a, a more minimal shoe. So I definitely recommend if you want to do something like that to work it in slowly, using them on your, your speed workout days or racing and just kind of taking it easy. It took me about a year and a half, two years to really work up to using a minimal shoe for an everyday, everyday trainer. I use the Nike Free 3.0s and um, you know I use them for pretty much all my workouts. So uh, it did take me a while, so you kind of have to make that progression. I first started out with a normal trainer. This is the Mizuno Wave Precision, and this is about pretty lightweight neutral shoe. It's around 10 ounces and it's just a good normal average uh, running shoe and uh, had it for a while and um, it's a good shoe. Some Another great shoe that I've had is the Asics DS Trainer. I actually had like three pairs of these and this is, has a great feel to it. It's very, it's a neutral shoe and I've used it for a lot of you know like everyday trainer, racing, everything. So this is a great shoe. I definitely recommend this. Even farther down, more on the minimal trail here, we have the A6 DS Racer, which is a lighter weight version of the DS Trainer. And this is a really nice shoe because it's, again, very neutral, and it's not quite a racing flat, so you can get a fair amount of miles on it, but it is pretty minimal, and um, and it's a pretty lightweight, fast, a fast shoe. I think this is around 8 ounces. If you want to keep on going down the spectrum here, um, this is again what I use for my normal uh, trainer, and it's the Nike Free 3.0s. Here's the version 2 that I've had two pairs of these, and I put about 600 miles each on them. And this is a great shoe, as you can see, it's really flexible. Um, that's to really take advantage of some of the, that barefoot running and uh, kind of that minimalist shoe qualities. And I think again, this is a great shoe. Um, it just came out with the version 3 of the 3.0s, so this is the version 2, and this is the version 3, and there's some slight upgrades, overall they're about the same, the only big difference is the toe box on the version 3s is a little bigger than the version 2s, and as you can see there's a, a mesh wrap that kind of goes on the top of the shoe for the version 3s, as well as a heel support and kind of a mesh heel portion there. I think that's great to kind of help keep your foot from wiggling back and forth in the shoe. They also have a, a different tongue, or, or not a tongue at all, I guess. It's just the laces, and your shoe just fits in the opening. Uh, the version 2 has just more of a traditional tongue that you would uh, lace up, and so not a big difference as far as feel goes. I, I just bought these again today, so I ran about 5 miles in them earlier today, and they felt great. They didn't really feel much different than the version 2's. Probably a little bit more stability as far as your foot wiggling around, so pretty much the same shoe, but some small upgrades, and I think they were um, beneficial upgrades. If you want to go even farther, down the uh, minimalist shoe trail here, we have uh, the, the New Balance Minimus, which is Again, a really minimal shoe and uh, very lightweight, not a whole lot of cushion and support, but it's a really good shoe. Farther along, we have uh, racing flats, and I've actually started using these the last couple of years, um, or at last year or so, and here's one of them, the, an Adidas racing flat that um, you know I really like. It's a really firm shoe, and I really only use these for really like track workouts, speed workouts, and, and for races. And my favorite racing flat is this Brooks Green, Green Silence, which is a definitely a true racing flat and very lightweight. It's around seven ounces, but 
It has a great feel to it, and it's very minimal, but I get probably maybe 200 miles out of this, or most racing flats get about 200 miles. So if you want to use it as an everyday trainer, you're going to have to spend a lot of money on, on, different, on different shoes. So um, one reason why I do the 3.0 is I can get a lot of miles out of them too. All right, uh, hopefully that was, was helpful for you. My last piece of advice as far as shoes go are uh, get into a good running store and have the staff there take a look at your stride and bring your old pair of shoes in and they'll analyze the, the wear pattern on the shoes to see if uh, you know, you're, you're wearing or, or, or striking a certain area. Um, the shoe store that I like the best is Running Fun in St. Paul. The staff there is really good. They have a big selection of shoes and apparel and they do a good job at really matching and identifying what your needs are as far as a shoe. They don't try to fit you into what product that they have on the shelves. Um, some running stores do that. They're pretty good at you know giving you recommendations and they have a big selection so they should have something there for you but um, you know if they don't have something that you really want they're you know they'll, they'll actually order it in for you or they'll you know basically tell you that they don't have it. So running fun in St. Paul is what I recommend. If you can't get to a running store, if you kind of live outside the metro area, I would recommend runningwarehouse.com. That uh, they actually will uh, analyze a video for you of like a 30 second clip of you running on the treadmill, and they'll take a look at that and make you some recommendations as far as what shoes would, would work for you too. So if you can't get out to a running store, I definitely recommend that. Hopefully this was uh, helpful for you, Matt, and again, keep the questions coming, and I'll do my best uh, to answer it. I'll probably do a second video or a part two video on the rest of your questions because the video is getting kind of long. So, again, keep the question coming, and hopefully this is helpful. Bye.